So we made a video about a year ago highlighting the top 14 Catholic cathedrals, but unknowingly included some basilicas and a chapel. We didn't know there was a difference between them, but there is a difference between a chapel, a cathedral, basilica, and a shrine. Assuming many of you are in the same boat, we decided to do a video explaining the difference between them all. So let's start. Let's start with the obvious, church. Church is a word that covers pretty much all of the Catholic places of worship that are used for Mass in the diocese. So a chapel, a basilica, a cathedral, and a shrine all can be churches. So what is a chapel then? A chapel in the Catholic Church means another room of worship associated with a larger church. A chapel has no permanent parish priest, as the priest typically is associated with a larger church or a parish. Masses can be said in a chapel, or can be used for prayer or adoration. For example, you may see a side chapel inside a larger church. That's where the tabernacle is. The chapel can be quite large. It all depends on how the building is being used. Size is irrelevant, though naturally chapels tend to be smaller because they are used less regularly. Here are five examples of Catholic chapels that you may be familiar with. The Sistine Chapel in the Vatican. The Chapel of the Bones in Portugal. St. Chapelle in France. Silent Night Chapel in Germany and the Chapel of the Holy Cross in the United States. Cathedral. Before we dig into what a cathedral is, let me first explain what a diocese is. A diocese is the district or area under the care of a bishop in the Catholic Church is basically the area that the bishop runs for the church. So every diocese in the Catholic world has a cathedral as its main church for that diocese. The cathedral is the church associated with the bishop. Using New York as an example, St. Patrick's Cathedral in Manhattan is the cathedral of the New York's diocese and is the church associated with the Bishop of New York. It is not uncommon to hear someone refer mistakenly to an especially large or magnificent church as a cathedral, but it's not the size or the decor that matters. It's the bishop that matters. That said, there's one feature that sets a cathedral apart from all other churches, and that is the bishop's throne. The Latin word for a raised chair or throne is cathedra, which is the source of the English word cathedral. So to recap, the cathedral is the church in the diocese of the bishop where he is officially associated with. A real-world example, let's use the Pope. The Pope is the Bishop of Rome. His cathedral is the Cathedral of St. John Lateran in the city of Rome. It's not St. Peter's Basilica, which is the church in the Vatican. Here are five additional examples of magnificent cathedrals in the world. Cologne Cathedral in Germany, Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France, St. Vitus Cathedral in Prague, Czech Republic, Milan Cathedral 
And lastly, St. Stephen's Cathedral, Vienna, Austria. So then, what makes a church a basilica? So we have to go back into history a bit to explain a basilica. In ancient Roman times, the word basilica referred to a large, high-ceiling hall with three long aisles. The Romans used basilicas as courts, public meeting areas, and even indoor markets. But in the 4th century, after the Emperor Constantine made Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire, many bishops modeled their churches and cathedrals on the Roman basilica design, setting up an altar at the far end of the hall. Now, only one person can give a church the title of basilica, and that person is the Pope. Now, the church has designated four major basilicas, and they are for the four greatest churches in Rome. They are St. Peter's Basilica, the Basilica of St. John Lateran, the Basilica of St. Mary Major, and the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls. Now when the Pope grants a church the title Basilica, he's actually granting it the title of Minor Basilica. Now he does this to a church that has historical significance or as especially sacred because of the presence of a relic. There are over 1,400 minor basilicas around the world, and 527 of those are in Italy alone. Here are five of our favorite minor basilicas. The Basilica of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception in Lourdes. St. Mark's Basilica of Venice. The Basilica of the Sacred Heart of Paris. Cathedral Basilica of St. Louis. And Basilica of Our Lady of the Pilar Zaragoza. A shrine. While a cathedral and a basilica must meet certain criteria, just about anything can be a shrine. The statue of St. Francis in your backyard is a shrine. The replica of the Lord's Grotto behind your parish church could be a shrine. A place where a saint was born or died, the site of a miracle or an apparition, these are all shrines. But an official shrine is regulated by the local bishop, and a national shrine is designated by the National Conference of Bishops. Official and national shrines traditionally attract many pilgrims, and usually it's because they possess an important relic, a wonderworking of a sacred image, or some type of apparition happened. Five examples of shrines include the Shrine of St. James the Greater in Spain, the Shrine of the Holy House in Loreto, Italy, the Shrine of the Black Madonna in Poland. The Shrine of Tepeyac, Mexico City. And the Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Krakow, Poland. 